Now, if Palm Beach County loses the case, the law firms have agreed to foot the bill at no cost to the county or taxpayers. The Florida Bar says this is unethical, but Ferraro Law Firm says they are not doing anything against the law and will stand by its decision. And here to explain more on all of this is Nova Southeastern University's law professor, Michael Flynn. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sandra. You know, before we, we get into the details of this suit, let's take a, a, a step back. How unique is this suit? You know, local governments taking on huge corporations in a huge battle like this. In Florida, it is. We have some experience with that because we, we have been involved and was involved in the tobacco litigation mm -hmm. where the state of Florida decided to take on the tobacco industry and do it through the litigation process. So it's unusual, but not unique. Uh, because of the opioid epidemic and the crisis that is perceived throughout the country, um, I think you're gonna see more of this. I think this is something where uh, county governments and city governments and maybe even state governments get themselves involved in determining whether or not these are worthwhile strategies to file lawsuits against so many of these suppliers. What is the risk for local governments, right? I mean, when there, there, a lot of attorneys involved, that's not cheap. No, 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 the attorneys are not gonna be cheap. And especially attorneys like the ones that we're seeing here, the Ferraro Group and the other lawyers, they're very competent lawyers. These guys mm -hmm. know what they're doing, the firms know what they're doing. Um, it depends on the relationship between the firm and the actual government entity. Um, if they're taking on a case like this and they're taking on it in, in a contingency fee, that means basically that the lawyers are going to get paid only if they're successful in the case. Um, that's the way so much of this litigation, which has high risk, is handled for purposes of paying lawyers. The, it's the other side of that equation that creates the problem. And what creates the problem you mentioned before with regard to the county and their seeking indemnification or requiring the lawyers to pay back to right. the county whatever those expenses could be. Now, in these other cases where we've seen, you know, local governments going after this industry, it's been, there have been federal cases or filed in federal court. This one went to state court. Is that significant? Um, both courts are capable of handling this kind of litigation or dispute. Um, I think there might be some tactical advantage for Palm Beach County bringing it in the state court in Palm Beach County. That's their local courthouse. That's the local judges who are subject to election and so on. Um, I think they're gonna feel at home there. In federal court, it's a different kind of courthouse because those federal judges are appointed for life, mm -hmm. can only be removed based on some kind of impeachment charge. And the jurisdiction of the federal court to hear cases is much more limited, usually involving some violation of a federal statute or because the parties in the lawsuit are from different states. In Palm Beach County's lawsuit, they're suing a whole bunch of people as defendants who are not only in the state of Florida, but outside the state of Florida. They're, not, they're bringing it purely on state law-based claims, which is negligence and fraud and unfair and deceptive trade practices and that. So it may be a tactical advantage for them to stay in federal court as long as they can. Now, the law firms have said that, that they're footing the bill for this at no cost to the county or taxpayers. Was that surprising to you? No, I think that's, this is, this is a high stakes game when you're into this kind of litigation. These are law firms that are looking at this case and evaluating the risk. And they know what the upfront costs are gonna be to prosecute this litigation. They're gonna spend the money to do it in the hopes that when they're successful, out of that recovery will come their fees and costs. Now, the Florida Bar responded saying this is unethical. Well, the Florida... Explain that, yeah, to, that to me. That's a trick. This is a tricky one. Um, what the Palm Beach County did in their, at least the way I understand it, in their representation agreements with these three firms, is they said, if you're unsuccessful, mm -hmm. if it turns out that the lawsuit is determined by a judge to be frivolous, then the other side, the defendants in these cases, could be entitled to their attorney's fees and costs, and that would be something that the county would have to pay. What they want is these law firms to take on that indemnification so they don't have to pay out those fees and expenses, but rather the law firms would. 
that's right on the ethical line. Um, the Florida Bar's ethics opinion says we're not, we're not in favor of that because what you're doing now is blurring the line between attorney and client. client right. The lawyer all of a sudden now is funding the client's litigation and we don't want lawyers doing that. On the other hand, the Palm Beach County attorney went out and got a separate e ethics opinion and says, no, I don't think the bar opinion is correct. The ethics opinion is correct and presented that to the county commissioners and they decided to go forward at least at this point in time. Professor Flynn, thank you so much for explaining all that to us. We appreciate it. We appreciate your insight. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. What do you think about the Palm Beach County lawsuit over opioids? Send us your thoughts. You can reach us by email or on our Facebook page at Your South FL. Send us a video or a message about this or any other topic that's impacting you and your community. We look forward to hearing from you.